The AAS, or angle-angle side congruency rule of triangles, is if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the corresponding non-included side of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. As an example, let's say that we have two triangles and we're given that angle A is congruent to angle J, angle B is congruent to angle K, and segment BC is congruent to segment KL. We can put in an arc with one tick mark for angles A and J, and an arc with two tick marks for angles B and K to show this visually. We can also put in a single tick mark on segments BC and KL to show their congruence. In this example, segment BC and segment KL are corresponding non-included sides because they are adjacent to corresponding angles, angle B and angle K. Now, since we have two congruent angles and congruency of corresponding non-included sides, from the AAS congruency rule for triangles, we know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle JKL. And since we know that the triangles are congruent, we also know that the corresponding angles and corresponding sides for the triangles are congruent. So angle C is congruent to angle L, segment AB is congruent to segment JK, and segment CA is congruent to segment LJ. And since these triangles are congruent, we also know that the measure of the corresponding angles will be equal and the measure of the corresponding sides will also be equal. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.